Alright, welcome back to La Milana. We're back at the surface area, because now that we have the power to conceive, we can go get something good. So let's go get something good. I like things that are good. You should too. If we conceive, we get birth. And usually how it happens. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the Temple of the Sun now. And we're gonna go to the back end area of the Temple of the Sun. Because we can. Because we killed Elmec in the last video. And therefore, also, this is open. What's in here? It's Mulbrook! Someone new to the La Milana cast. Hmm, I wonder how we wake her up. Maybe we conceive her. Something happened in here. Mulbrook's awake! She's no longer made of stone. Yeah, sure. I have a really sleepy ancient woman that lives in ruins helping us now. She's talking about Widget. She knows everything. We're going to be talking to her a lot. Like right now. See, she starts remembering things about the four philosophers. Yep, we're going to be coming back to her well, a few times. That's the Chamber of Extinction. It links up to the Chamber of Birth, the back end area. We have to solve the riddle of light. Yeah, she goes back to sleep every time. Got anything else? The Endless Corridor. We need the Key of Eternity. The Endless Corridor is endless. Figures. Alright, enough out of Mulbrook. He's like the female Elder Zilpud. Except not as crazy. And a bit more ancient. Elder Zelpud shouldn't be old anymore. There we go. If we kill the boss, the door opens. Welcome, Temple of the Moonlight. The back end of the Temple of the Sun. This is a dangerous place for me to be in right now, because I'm underpowered and I don't have stuff. The reason why I'm not jumping on that platform just yet, because of that dude right there with the dog head. It's Anubis! Or at least one of his followers. You get within his line of sight, he'll start draining energy like mad. Okay, here we go. Remember this? I believe it's right here. That's the puzzle for this room. Gotta hit the one that's smiling all the time. Well, oh, the top one looks like she's smiling. Here we go! We've opened the way to the top end of Temple of the Moonlight. I don't like that thing. Get it away from me. Yeah, thank you. Bug Exterminator Extraordinaire! There's a very specific reason besides these souls that we're going up here. Right here. Secret Room! What is in Secret Room? Power is in Secret Room. Let's get us some power. If you notice, I have a lot more weights and gold because I managed to find a way to exploit fairies for money. It's great! I love it! Exploiting fairies for money is what you should do in everyday life. Alright. Anybody see the solution? We gotta hit that skull. And then we gotta run for it. Ah, run for it, Indy! I mean, Lameza. And we get ourselves an axe. Yeah, the axe. Oh, we found something secret already with the axe. It has a bigger attack radius than a knife, obviously. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing! Nothing's in the room. Well, oh. how can they have a room full of nothing? And also had different music than a normal room does. Strange. So we'll get back to it later. Alright, so let's head up from here. There's things. There's also this axe, which is amazing. The axe in the old game, not so terrific. The axe in this game, it's pretty much the mini boss slayer. If you want to hit the head of something, and it's only injurable in the head, use the axe. 
because its attack radius is great for hitting things in their head. That we're not going up just yet, but it looks like the back end of level 7, which would be the Twin Labyrinths. We're not going up there. You can tell the numbers are different here. They're flipped horizontally. Oh look! More about Eden! I would like to go to Eden. Maybe we should go to Eden. Let's check out Eden. Is it nearby? Yes, it is. I'm answering that question ahead of time. Let's go to Eden! Oh! Hey, um... Reader, did you take a vacation? I don't understand this jibber-jabber. Elder Zilput, help us! Oh! There's older Lamalani's written scripture here. We need to translate. We need Rosetta Stones. Hey, let's go to the back end of level 1. Eden! Not much you can do here just yet, but I want to read this. Wow, this is a great place. But we have to clear the fog to make it better. We'll come back here later. Not much to do in Eden, I'm afraid. Not right now. Come on, bats. You have a date with Axe. He is an expensive date. He will order the lobster. And this is a good place to have Axe. Whoa. Do not throw a bone at me, buddy. Okay, actually, this is a good place for knife. We gotta get these skeletons out of our way. Oh, look! What was that? I scanned that area and something happened. I don't know what. We'll see later. But we got a grapple claw right now. Yeah, an axe and a grapple claw. Excellent. But what can the grapple claw do besides make us look like Wolverine? He can grab balls now. Look at that. It's great. I love it! Oh no! Skeleton house! I have an axe though, so they're not that threatening. Come here! I want to ask you a question. Why are you still alive? Okay, now that's just obtuse as hell. What the hell is it with the navel of Neptune? Maybe we are stuck in treasures of the Hidden Temple. They didn't really have treasure that made sense. That looks like a Grail Point. Let's go up and get that Grail Point. It's in the same room where we went up to go to Eden. I would like to be able to teleport here, but you know what? Uh, it's kind of weird. I just want it to have. Don't judge me. Shortcuts. Don't have to waste a wait. Okay, we do. Okay, put this door in. It's a toll door. We must pay a wait every time you go through that room. Yeah! Grapple kick. And we can just drop through the trap door. That's the grail point. Can't do anything with it. Oh, we can save. I think we're done with the top area of the Temple of the Moonlight for now. So let's head off to the right. Souls! I wish we could do something about all the souls. In this Temple of the Moonlight. Oh, another secret area! I'm just finding them left and right. Yes, you can scan while you're jumping. Come on, platform. I need you. I don't want to be killed by Anubis guy. here is more stuff, like upside-down goddess statues. And an upside-down pyramid, if you missed it. Well, that did absolutely nothing for me. I could've just used the ladder. Why did I open up the floor? I don't understand. The Underworld Palace. Well, that floor has seen better days. So we'll just use the birth seal? And open up to the wall there. And here's one thing about Anubis. He will not drain your health. Oh. But we will be struck with lightning. So be careful of that. 
be wary. Luckily, the grapple claw is a lot easier to use in this game. It took some fancy handling to do it last time. Now I just have to hold up and hit the jump button to jump off. Open sesame. No! Take it back. I take it back. This bat's everywhere. Bat's on my belfry. Bat's on the stairs. Ooh, this looks good. Oh, that did something. Like, put that lizard in my way. It's a red background and blue lizards, and I still fell for it. How? All right, we got We have some business to do up here. I have a whip. We gotta go up there. That block is in our way. So we whip it. Whip it good. And now we have to hit up this thing. Grapple Claw makes it easy! Yeah, I look like a pro with the Grapple Claw. I looked like a complete klutz in the last game trying to do this. Yeah! That is so much easier. Thank you, Nagoro! Now that we've done something like that, we can head over here. Oh no, where'd the top of the pyramid go? I don't understand any of this. I'm also very low on health, and I'm afraid that I might die. Whoa! No! See what he does? Wow. Alright. I'll take a pause, I'm gonna get some health, and we'll go somewhere else that's not the Temple of the Moonlight. <laughs> Alright, we're back at the surface after a hot spring break. It's still Elder Zelda, but about Mobrook. Okay. Silput, put the laptop down. Come on. I'm trying to tell you something important. Maybe you should stop. I'm getting tired of running back here to annoy you. Whatever. He's gonna be busy doing his computer thing. Let's just go to Inferno Cavern. There's more things I want to do in the t uh, Temple of the Moonlight right now, but uh, not quite yet. I am afraid of the Anubis guys that will drain my soul. But let's grab the second weapon now that we have the ability to stick to walls. Like it says here... Actually, we should delete those. Go away! You are no longer needed. So we have to head to that top of that area. But we also have to trigger seal along the way, which is why I picked up the birth seal at the beginning of this episode. See? I plan ahead. I am good archaeologist. I have my battle plan. My battle plan is using an axe to solve every one of my problems. Seal! And it opens up that. That's where we're going to be going. And of course, this weapon is going to be guarded, not only by a mini-boss, but a really insidious trap. I really hate it. It's hard to do. Okay, wait for the flame spurt, and drop down. Did I make it? Yes, I did. That was close. Okay, there's many ways to go through this, but I'm going to get to the one that has the treasure and the info. Like this! You could only go once. You could only one take one ride on what's coming up. I squish you. Oh, so that's what the lava is all about. The rocket wasn't hydrogen powered, it was steam powered. Mini-boss time! It's Pazuzu! This is why the axe is great. This is what I meant by the mini-boss slayer. If you stand right here, you'll be able to jump up and hit him in the head as he swings back and forth in his little pattern there. Unless he can jump and hit him and run away. Please don't do what you're gonna... I told you not to do it. But you did it! 
You're still doing it. Stop doing that. You are a terrible person, Pazuzu. Alright, let's get these mines out of the way. You see what we have to do? We have to put a weight on this. That's what we want to do. See that? We would have got smashed. And now we can only make this jump once to get the chain whip. Yeah, the chain whip. Now we're ready for boss number two. That's what we'll do next time. So, next time on Lama Lana, boss number two, and the rest of the Temple of the Moonlight. We're gonna go moonlighting. Later, folks.